Welcome everybody, my name is Michael and today we are at work. So I'm going to go through some of my payments, my monthly obligations, and what we can do to reduce the amount of bills that we have. So let's begin. First of all, I have my monthly rent, which is $1,300, and then around $100 in utility. Half of that is the energy bill, the other half is water, trash, and whatever else is included into that. Uh, next up, we have my internet, which currently is $216 and something cents, I forgot, uh, but we have reduced that, and as of next month, it's going to be $100 per month. Uh, AT&T, that's currently for two phones, unlimited. We're going to try and reduce unlimited to hopefully get a little bit lower than that, even possibly. Uh, still haven't done that. Today, we are actually purchasing Progressive. Uh, I might be even able to get a better rate than that, but we'll see. Definitely am overpaying with State Farm. So every six months, try and change your plan. Just see how you're able to save money. I think this is due mainly to my bad credit score because I have no tickets, no violations, nothing, no crashes, no incidents, and this is extremely high. And then again, I am a 24-year-old male, so under 25, usually the highest rates, but um, still, obviously, that's, that's a huge cost savings. And even Geico and other companies were... Uh, higher than progressive but still below two hundred dollars so that's hundreds of dollars per month even uh, not, not per month but per year hundreds of dollars saved even in this case you know over a thousand dollars saved that's quite a bit of money uh, i am able to refinance my car uh, but currently not going to do that just because it will have an impact on my credit but in the future i've already received offers that i can reduce this down to 260 to 50 dollars um, the longer i wait the better it'll be for savings um, sure, yes, I'm going to have to pay a couple months right now, but I'm building my credit. As I build my credit, though, the interest will lower. So it kind of evens out. You know, as long as I do it within the next couple months, that's always something to consider. Utilities can't really change. Rent, I am overpaying. You know, it is what it is. Chicago's very expensive, high cost of living area. And fuel right now, unfortunately, fuel has gone up. You know, premiums over $5 right now at Costco. So I'm already doing what I can to save over there. But, um, you know, I've seen a premium as high as five sixty five seventy at normal gas stations. So what we're going to be doing is DoorDash to make up for all the fuel costs. And I know DoorDash technically doesn't really make sense because of fuel, but, you know, we have to do what we can right now. It's going to be a pretty tough month. In addition to this, we do have loans. Okay, so we've added to where we left off previously. I just wanted to say with fuel prices going up, we're now closer to 300, so a little up, bit of an update, where previously we would be at 250. You know, I fuel up once per week um, most of the time. So now this can go up even further because last time I fueled up for 4.99 a gallon, which this has risen up from quite a bit where, you know, it was below 4 not too long ago. Then I remember it was 450, 470, 480, you know, moved up really quickly. So today it's probably even above five. Anyways, um, with loans, I have $400 left that I'm paying $100 per week to one of my managers. This is a 0% interest loan, so absolutely fantastic. Super grateful about that. That helped with a lot of stuff. Um, I actually had an update. I did get progressive, but I'm not paying 150. I'm paying 197. The reason and some change. The reason for that is they added a dollar fee because I'm paying with a credit card, which whatever they have processing fees for everything, and that was cheap. I'm sorry, I'm paying with a checking account, and that's cheaper than a credit card, which would be five dollar processing fee. So really, it's one ninety six, but it is what it is. Um, and then that's for a six month period, with the first month costing me seventy eight dollars. It was supposed to cost me sixty one dollars. This is the reason because Progressive changes their rates. So the quote that I got last time changed it actually went up previously i had a quote of even 58 dollars for the same day then it went up to 61 and it was even below 150 um that i moved up to their last quote wasn't actually 150 i remembered wrong it was 154 i think 55 something like that moved up quite a bit the reason for this is uh, i actually canceled state farm today uh, backdated to yesterday so won't have to deal with this anymore the reason for this is because they said I had an accident, which I didn't. That was not true. Uh, I'm going to dispute that. The reason it is, is because with State Farm, I filed a claim um, in January. It was not an accident. It says no fault. I, it was a closed claim, but I have to withdraw it. If possible, I will file a dispute to try and get this down lower, but it's better to pay this premium now than this, of course, in the meantime. And if anything does change, maybe I'll get a refund. Who knows? But... Um, it's going to take a while for that dispute, 
Uh, I filed a claim, shouldn't have done that. I was worried because I was driving and then something fell off a tow truck. It scraped one of my front bumpers, that's it. It, it was a tiny scrape. I, I called in and realized immediately that, you know, there's a thousand dollar deductible. The repairs are gonna cost probably, you know, 100, 200, 300 bucks. Absolutely nothing happened to my vehicle. So I said, you know what, I wanna cancel it. And then <laughs> that I, I said the same thing, you know, I said it while I was on the phone call, but once it's already filed, it's filed. And I don't know why it says it, it was an accident. It wasn't an accident. Um, hopefully it doesn't show up on Carfax. I mean, that was probably a bad decision. So never, ever, ever file a claim if it's something really tiny because I lost a lot of money due to that. And hopefully it doesn't show up on Carfax because if it does, absolutely nothing happened to a vehicle. Most vehicles have minor damage. I work in the business, you know, over 80% of vehicles have to get repainted. So, um, it, it's not even minor damages. It's scratches. I can show you guys later. It's, you know, worst decision ever because I'm going to lose tons of money, but whatever. It is what it is. So, um, this is cl probably closer to 300. I took out a loan not too long ago. I mean, quite a bit ago, actually. It was $5,000 back in August, I believe. Um, part of that was used for a wedding ring. And this is at higher interest, so I might get this refinanced. Uh, I've built my credit a lot since then, but this loan has actually, I know some of you guys from personal finance are going to say, why are you paying this much? Blah, blah, blah. This is a bad company. Well, my next loan was with a better company at a better interest rate. It's a lot lower. I think it was at 2100 This has actually helped rebuild my credit because it diversifies what you have. You have a personal loan. Um, this, I think I took out $2,100 with the origination fee, so I got like 1900 bucks. just needed some money at the time. Uh, this is a brand new loan, so better interest rate than this. These are stuff that I can pay off this year, later on in the year, but I will keep it open more than a year just to help build credit. I'll refinance these, so um, for the moment, it's just something that at the end will help credit. Now, it, oh, both of these did take three points off, so six points off for hard inquiries, hard inquiries fall off after two years. Uh, I did get a Discover limit that went up to $500, took it up to $500, we'll pay that off this week. Um, we'll pay off $200 to Open Sky. This has helped rebuild my credit. So this is absolutely amazing. And then, and then this is a credit rebuilder where um, next year I'll have most of the money back. I think in total I paid $25 times 24. Uh, and then I'll have most of that, you know, over $500 that I'll be able to withdraw next year, have one more year to go, 11 more months after I pay this month off. Um, this has helped big time and it's treated like a personal loan. Again, helps diversify credit, um, but I'll get most of the money back. This is just to build credit, just to build credit. So now we move on to Reddit Borrow. This is absolutely fantastic when you're trying to rebuild your credit. This doesn't help your credit, but uh, instead of having to take out loans or get more credit cards, uh, I will be able to raise the limit for this in six months. We'll try and refinance this Volvo. I did receive an offer not too long ago that it possibly could get down to 250, 260. Definitely believe that, um, but I will wait a little bit longer. Um, this has no impact to your credit. Now, of course, you have to start off with a smaller amount, but I have two loans currently on Reddit Bar through other users. Um, yes, it's gonna be higher interest. It's 10% interest that I'm getting, but lower interest than these personal loans and lower interest than most credit cards, which are above 20%. Um, so this is just on a shorter time frame. This is a one month loan, so four weeks, four weeks from now. This is a recent one that I took out. I will have to pay $90 as one of my credits better. I won't have to take these out. I won't have to take these. The only thing I'll need is let's say two, three uh, credit cards. I'll replace Open Sky because it has an annual fee. Discover's fine. And I'll most likely get Capital One because my um, auto loan is through Cap One. And then maybe in the future, I'll get a Chase or PNC. I do have PNC banks, so that'll probably be best. Um, this I have to pay off in a week or two. Yeah, two weeks actually. Um, $45 and then $90. So this is helping for the meantime because this month's slower. But when the months are better in the summertime, I won't have to do this anymore. And then this is just estimated. I have to pay $100 for an immigration lawyer, of which it'll go down to $3,750. 3850 is left right now. Immigration, most of that is $2,000 in documents. I did shop around for lures. Um, both said the same thing, 3950 Don't want to go to a third one. Uh, I did also go online just to look at the average prices. This is absolutely fair. Um, this is just what I think I'll, I spend in addition to all of the bills, $1,000. This is going for emergency money 
whatever might happen. Let's say, you know, I get sick or something. I don't have health care at the moment, so I have to save up money. Uh, food, you know, a couple hundred bucks for me. This is for two people, supporting two people. Uh, and for necessities. Two people, again, my fiancé moved not too long ago, so doesn't have too much in this country. And I just moved out to an apartment. You know, I had to purchase a mattress not too long, uh, a couple months back. That was a couple hundred dollars. I have to purchase uh, some furniture, some really cheap furniture, but, you know, that's just a necessity. Soap, any hygiene products, anything that is necessary for my vehicle, um, any maintenance, that's just going into that. So, altogether, you know, we're talking about a couple thousand dollars that's going to bills and necessities every single month. And um, besides that, taxes, of course. You know, taxes, I will most likely get a refund back. But right now, depending on my paycheck, if it's a better paycheck, it can be 26, 27% that's taken out. Um, I, I calculated that depending on what I make, most likely above $80,000 at the end of the year, I will have a um, couple percent that's going to be given back in a tax refund next year. You know, unless taxes changes, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. So anyways, this is what's going on right now. I will get re I will get a couple of these bills reduced. I will have to pay off certain things. Um, we'll have to pay off Reddit borrow and the personal loans within this year. Once that's done, um, it's going to be in a lot better position. <laughs> and there was also a comment um, from somebody saying, why can't your fiancé work? Why do you have to support two people? Well, it's impossible to work unless you have a green card. And then this process takes some time. In a couple months, you will be able to work. But before then, you cannot work. It is impossible to work. She's a tourist right now. She's going through the process legally. Everything's going to be fine. And, um... You know, it's just taking a while. Um, even if you do everything right, you, you cannot work for 6 to 12 months. In normal times, closer to 6, but now with COVID, everything's delayed. And that's why we're getting a lawyer to try and speed things up. She wants to work, but it's impossible. So, you know, it is what it is. She can't drive. She can't do anything. Um, so, and I, I knew that. I knew that going into it. And I think I am able to support two people. It's not amazing, but, you know, there's people who support a whole family while they're making half of what I am. So I gave you an insight into my finances. You know, not, not everything is fully 100%. I mean, you never know what's going to pop up in a, in a week. Um, a big thing will be getting health care in a couple months. Right now, just need to figure these things out. Another thing is my rent is way too much, but I had to get it. If I had better credit, I probably could have gotten a different apartment. But it, you guys know who are already on the channel, it was so difficult to get an apartment. So I'm grateful to have it. So that's it. We're definitely going to improve my situation once my credit gets better. You know, we're going to have a couple hundred dollars less per month to pay off and reduce my bills. And uh, then we'll be able to invest. And especially once, you know, you have two salaries and my girlfriend's going to be making good money. Uh, well, wife, um, then things are going to be a lot better. Thanks for watching. Another thing to factor in is I'm going to be making more money off of YouTube. Right now it's 50 to 100 bucks per month will be, so that's going to definitely help in the future.